Hey, we're live historians, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Historically Haunted Vodcast Special Edition. We're on a Tuesday here, but we got it for a very, very good reason. A very good reason. Uh, real quick, um, shout out to Witch and Life Guide. She's doing a giveaway today, guys. When we say, hey, guys, um, Witch and Life Guide, and you type in Witch and Life Guide, our guest, Sandy, when she shows up, she will pick um, a guest at random. I had this all set up. My Wi-Fi just went out good times. And some of them will see a good package, a care package. 12-inch cellulite wand, some crystals. I even got some goodies myself to throw in there. I'll throw in some stuff. Um, and that's from the Witch and Life Guide. That's our sponsor today, Heather Kemeniti. Uh, we appreciate her very much. She does a lot here. She's my girl. She's my co-host most of the time. So a little bit about our guest, um, Sandy Johnson. She was Playboy in 1974, Miss June. She, well, before all that, she actually went to college and got a PhD in psychology. Believe it or not, she's also an American actress. Like I said, she did appear um, in Playboy. She was Miss June, and she does sign merchandise for that. But she was also in um, a bunch of films, actually. Most notably, I actually watched it a little bit last night, Gas Pump Girls. Uh, that came out in 1979. Um, that was a pretty cool little movie, pretty funny little uh, 70s movie. Pretty cool. She had a good piece in that. We're going to talk about that. Um, but she, was, of course, was, was Judith Myers. She was Mike Myers' first kill. And uh, John Carpenter's 78 Halloween, which is very, very awesome. So uh, we're going to bring her on. I think she's here. Oh, you there, well, Sandy? Yeah, I'm trying to um, get my photo to come up there. Oh, okay. Well, if the Wi-Fi goes out, I'm having a problem here in Maine. I got my backup camera on my phone. So if I Wi-Fi, if I go out for a reason, I'll jump on my phone. So just be cool and uh, you can hack it. What's going on? Oh, my God. It's Sandy Johnson. <laughs> awesome. uh, I'm doing wonderfully. Thank you. Thank you awesome. for having me on. Oh, thank you for being so modest and so humble. I've reached out to a lot of people in the field. Um, there's a picture. Uh, let me see real quick. I had some uploaded that my Wi-Fi kind of went out on me. But I got some stuff here of her. She signs her hat. That's her in Playboy. She'll sign that on, on her website. You can order that. She signs pictures as well. Um, different photos. There's a photo of her. She's got a bunch of stuff on there. She's going to a bunch of uh, different Scarefest weekend. You're kind of doing the whole tour thing, huh? I am. Yeah. yeah like I've, um, I have quite a few uh, of them ready to go, you know, cons this year. Yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to those. I, I have about three that have announced, but several others that haven't yet. Okay. Uh, any plans to come up towards my way, the East Coast, maybe Boston, New York, something like that? Not yet. So far, we have Tampa, Florida, uh, Kentucky, Lexington, and um, what was the other one? Ooh. Dang. Um, oh, Germany. Germany. Oh, Germany. Is right. You have one overseas. I know that. That was Germany. Yeah. Germany. I think you'd, you'd be a great fit for Salem. In uh, fall time, Halloween time in Massachusetts, I think. <laughs> yeah, they just need to invite me. <laughs> I, uh, I Well, I, I know some folks. Um, personally, myself, I'm putting together a sort of a Stephen King thing. I live in Maine, and I'm friends with a lot of the actors from Pet Cemetery. Um, so if I can put something together and have a couple extra people, I'll definitely be in contact. We're friends on Facebook, and I would do whatever it takes to get you to come down here. So, um, Cool. Um, Usually, I'm booked throughout... October, most of December, I mean, most of uh, September, October, mm -hmm. um, most of that I think is already booked, maybe one weekend, not. Wow. Busy yeah. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, so the camera's not working or you just. Well, for... I don't understand why. Is um, there, there... It tells me I have two things that are trying to use the camera so I'm trying to figure out what else is trying to use it so I can shut it off. Let me do a search for what it says is using it. I had to jump on my phone. Tell you, man, the squirrels aren't running today in Maine. We're not getting the, uh, the electricity like we're supposed to. Shout out to Brody watching. Happy birthday, Brody. Hope you can hear me. Are you there, Judith? Oh, Judith. <laughs> Sandy? <laughs> I'm here. Uh, I tell you, I, I live by Mount Katahdin, right by the base of the Appalachian Trail in Maine, way up there by Bangor, Stephen King. So 
the Wi-Fi is just not that great. So I apologize. That's so unprofessional. Yeah, I, I actually don't think it's your fault. Um, it's telling me that I'm, like I said, it's telling me that I have two different things trying that are competing here. So I was hmm. trying to fix that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, no worries. While we're doing that, I got to talk about the gas pump girls. Um, I love that uh, the, the whole the whole plot of it, and of course the whole seventies thing. And I watched you and the girls explaining to you on how you do the gas, and you're obviously just like, <laughs> I don't get it. And you like, she puts it in the hole, you pump it, it comes out, and it's like, woo woo, and it's just it's so awesome. And I love your sense of humor because I think people have gotten so scared about that stuff, and I think it's a riot. I think it's a great film. Um, I got to buy the hard copy once I find it, but. I had no clue. I, I, and the, you had a PhD in psychology, girl? Wow. <laughs> Actually, that... it's, uh, it's in uh, online instructional design uh, for creating courses for the Internet. I see. I see. I see. Still pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, still a PhD. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you get your feather in a lot of so, – so what – I'm going to start from the beginning. I, I'm, I'm honestly so nervous. I've been doing this for two years, and I interviewed, like, uh, Jeff Mudgett, who's H.H. H. Holmes' great-great-grandson, America's serial killer, first serial killer. And I wasn't this nervous. I was so nervous to talk to you because I had a crush on you on the first Halloween. And I got to ask, before we even jump into Halloween, what got you started into being an actress, being in, in, you know into acting? Who would you look up to? And what did it start? Um, it really started in middle school with drama. I really loved drama and I loved dance. So I was in dance, dance production, drama, uh, play production, all of those. And then yep. when I got into high school, I continued it. And in college, I continued it. And then outside of college, I continued it. Uh, and then I went on to the studios to take, you know, workshops and things there. Yep. So that's kind of what how I did it, and I just um, continued to love it. Ah, uh, it's killer. I mean, like even the gas pump girls for 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 what it is, and that you look at it, and your your scenes are pretty on. I mean, you smile when you talk, but you you're not just like an airhead. Uh, you really like your lines are there. It's impressive. I mean, you know, even I mean, obviously you're known for Michael. I get it, but I really want to watch Hots. I want to get into that. And um, what was the, oh, the, I should know this, the very first, first movie you did. Um, oh, what a bad host. Uh, the very first was, um, I think it was Jokes My Folks Never Told Me, I think was the first. Yes. It, yeah. Is that out of print? I can't seem to find the hard copy of that anywhere. It is. I think maybe you can watch it online somewhere. It's, um. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's kind of outdated humor now, but at the time it was very um, edgy, you know, because they were telling adult jokes. And uh, at the time yeah. they were just like, oh my gosh, because it's just. <laughs> <laughs> There's bits of it on YouTube. There's little lines of it on YouTube and quips of it. There's little scenes and shit like that. But um, I got to check that out. Um, so, yeah, of course, we're going to dive right into it. I get to meet, uh, you know, the man, the myth, the legend this past year. Like, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Um, and then, of course, I met Tony Moran, the one that was unmasked in the uh -huh. first one. He signed my DVD. And, of course, yeah. I mean, Halloween, everybody, I said, Judith Myers. I go, Jamie Lee Curtis? I go, no, dude, no. What? What? <laughs> no, <laughs> like Judith, the one in the beginning, in the very first, they go, they go, oh, and, and they go back and they go, the clown mask and everything. What was it like? I mean, John Carpenter's a god for horror fans. What was it like to work with him? Were you nervous? Did you did you fit right in? Were you into horror movies before that? Um, I was into horror movies. I, um, uh, my dad kind of got me into horror movies when I was young. And so I continued, you know, to love them. Uh, being on the set, of course, John Carpenter was new, as was Jamie Lee and all of us were That's kind true. of there just making a low budget film. So it wasn't, um, you know, a huge deal. I was, um, you know, there to do a job. Uh, it was great working with John and Deborah. They were both very, very sweet and um, 
just easy to work with. I mean, they really explained things well, what they wanted. We went through it several times. Um, yeah, it was awesome. I'm I'm just so thrilled that I got uh, to this early. You're such a cool you're such a cool chick. I was so worried you'd be like, you know, one of the actresses. I'm like, oh no, I'm at, but you're so down to earth. I dig that vibe. I can feel it. Um I like to talk about I don't, seriously, I appreciate that. I know you're 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 doing your thing and you get Everybody just loves you to death on Facebook. I mean, people just love their horror movie actresses. They love their horror girls. And um, but but you're more than that. I I want to I want to touch on some cool stuff. I want to touch on um, what is, what does Sandy Johnson do with her family, her husband, her friends, whatever. Um, what are you doing on a night out? What, do you just what do you go bowling? Do you go star searching? You sit at home watch a movie. <laughs> um. Usually I would say we go to friend's house and maybe watch a movie or just sit around and visit and have a bottle of wine and um, yeah, listen to music and stuff. Just enjoy our friends. We have wonderful friends that we are so grateful for. Uh, so, yeah, we just spend time with them. Just a normal person. That's it. I mean, yeah, you've done some extraordinary things, but it comes down to it. You're the real deal, you know. Oh, I think I'm back, back on. All right, hang tight, okay? Let me see. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to stay right on my phone. I don't trust my Wi-Fi today. Do I look okay to you? Can you see this? It's on my phone, on my computer. Because my computer, yeah, as long as you can see, yeah. I can't you see know, you, but. <laughs> you know what? That's a thought. Let me see if I can grab my tablet really quick. And yeah, I might no be able rush. to pull this up. That'd be killer. I mean, oh, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, take your time. It's it's a blast just okay, to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, uh, real quick, we're gonna give a shout out to to Chris. I see you guys in chat. It's hard to bring that up on my phone, but I see you guys on chat. Witch and Life Guide, Heather, thank you so much. Lexi Rue, um, Goebel is gonna be my guest with the uh, Chasing Paranormal a couple weeks. Gene Tewksbury, the International Cryptozoology Museum. I see all you guys. Nathaniel Elwell, well, appreciate you. Christina Farner, hi. Haunted Souls Paranormal, hi. Dylan Wagner, everybody on YouTube, everybody online, everybody watching. It's a little off. We're going to be switching to Thursdays at 8 p.m. soon. Um, as of June 1st, it's official. But for now, we're going to be on Fridays. We have a show this Friday, too. This is just a cool little last-minute thing with with, uh, with my girl from Halloween here, Judith Myers, from the first Halloween. And we're just talking some good stuff. Yeah, I'm pulling it up. Let's see if I can... Uh... Get this to switch over to my other account so I can um, pull up Messenger and find the link. There we go. All right. So now that I've got my fucking computer back, part of my language, I can drop some pictures of Sandy. <coughs> This Sandy, her buttons broke off her shirt. If the wind was, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you and you still. I went to your website, which I'm gonna do. But the thing is, I want to talk to you first because it says personalize, and I want you to be like, you know, to Adam, thank you for having me on your show. You're my number one fan. You know, you're amazing. I love you. Uh, like all that stuff. So I, I want to order a picture from you, and I want you to sign it. But can you just like personalize it? You know what I mean? Now that you I know. can. There's there's a place. Um, on there that allows you, it says right on the order form, you know, personalization oh, as well as notes. So if oh. you like want a particular pin color, you can have whatever you want. Oh, cool. I didn't dive that deep then. I wanted to make sure I didn't know if you could just order it and you'd sign up. I don't want to sell it. I want it to Adam. You're my number one fan. <laughs> yeah. When you, when you put it in the shopping cart, it will give you, um, some options okay. and that's where you can put in uh, custom stuff. What if you want it to, to somebody or happy birthday or whatever you want, I'm happy to do that. Oh, and I know you do cameos too. Um, while we're waiting for you to come back to come on and show your, your pretty face, what can, uh, where can people find this good stuff? I know, but where can people uh, find you? Well, the, the website is unicorn sandy And it's not hard. You type in Sandy Johnson, even in Wikipedia, you, you're the only really Sandy Johnson that there is. You're all over the place. You're really not hard to find. I found. <laughs> you know. 
um, the, um, let's see what else. Oh, hang on a second. Let me get this link. I know. Try was... again. I'm going to try with my phone. My, my, yeah. uh, other deal is just slow as all get out here. No, take your time. I mean, I know, you know, um, but I know, obviously, if you type in Sandy Johnson on Facebook, you got 9,000 followers. You can see her there, guys. You were just in the old uh, Mike Myers wagon. It shows you getting st- like Mike Myers on the top of the stairs. Bunch of cool pictures. Um, you're obviously a down to earth chick. So, you know, it's it's neat to support you. I'm trying to find a 74 Playboy. That's going to be a hard one to find because, uh, but I got to find that one. Um, real quick, here's me with, with Nick, the man. <laughs> I look all buzzed out, all freaked out. There's the original Mike Myers. And then there's Tony Moran. That was in Salem. That was the unmasked one in the first oh, one. Oh, cool. So that was kind of neat. So I got that all done. And I just got to meet you now if you get up to Maine. Um, that would be <laughs> amazing. So, and of course, the background, guys, let me remove me. There you go. Mike Myers' first kill. That's her with her flyer. Much, much more. Just type in Sandy Johnson on Facebook. Um, you do TikTok or Instagram, YouTube, anything like that? Um, I do uh, Instagram. It's uh, Unicorn Sandy J. Okay. I'll make sure and give you a follow. I'm not on there much, but I'll definitely give you a follow. Um, I've been sharing the crap out of your stuff. I've been so tickled pink to even talk to you. What is Sandy Johnson? Um, what is Sandy Johnson like for music? You mentioned music. I'm trying to picture. I'm sure you don't listen to metal. Yes, you probably do, but you must like old timey seat like Creedence Clearwater, maybe. Right? Say that again. Oh, look at this. Is it coming up? Oh, Sandy Johnson. Yes. Oh, man. It went away again. Hang on. Okay. No, 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 no. Go back. I see your face. I, I could see you. I could see the ceiling fan back of you. Can you see us? Um, I can. I can see you, but I'm getting a terrible echo, which yeah, is probably because of the computer. Let me turn oh, it off. Okay. All okay. right. I, oh, can you see All me right. now? Can you still see me? Yeah. Now I can't hear you. Hang on. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, now I can hear you. Can you hear me? And oh, see- you look beautiful. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Can you everything sound okay and everything okay? Yep. Everything's good. Uh, can I ask you? Can I ask you a favor? Even though my girlfriend's watching, she won't mind. Can you blow yes. me a kiss? Yes, eat that, everybody. Sandy Johnson. Oh, that is killer. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, man, you, you're 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 one of the best. Brody, my little neighbor there, he just turned, I believe, I don't know, twelve or so. He's a big Halloween fan. He says, "Hello, I'm here. Nice to see you, Sandy." Um, Okay, we got a question, Sandy. We got one for you from Haunted Souls Paranormal. How did Sandy get the role of Judith? Right time, right place? I was with the Playboy Agency, and they reached out to the agency for um, girls that weren't afraid to be naked, I guess, on camera. (laughs) Having been in Playboy, I was kind of used to that, and so they called me in for an interview and um that's kind of don't tell me my wi-fi went out again um oh okay oh you're back i thought it was my wi-fi for a minute oh (laughs) (laughs) i'm ready to jump on my phone um, so Playboy, yes, so they, so they got to hold you because, of course, that's like almost like a talent agency at this point. Playboy girls do get used in movies, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't want to Yeah, off. they, anyway, they just, I went for an interview and I, you know, read the lines and all of that stuff. And then they called me maybe the next day or called the agency and said that they had cast me as Judith Myers. Oh, my God. And like you say, that then it's just a low budget thing. You didn't realize, just like the people in Friday the 13th didn't realize what it blew up and, and all that other good stuff. But right. um, so they told you straight up, like, okay, so you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to get like stabbed, right? I mean, right. That's, and you're just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was fine. <laughs> I had done comedies. So this was a new type of role for me, which I considered a good thing. 
<laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's it's I guess it's broadening your horizon. Oh, my girlfriend checks in. She's sponsoring the show tonight, Heather Kemeniti. She's a big, big fan. She loves women actresses, which in life guy checks in. She's doing a bundle of good, uh, a giveaway bundle tonight. And uh, I'm going to have you pick someone in chat at some point. I know it's kind of silly, but I thought it was kind of kind of neat. Wanted to, we want to have some fun with it. Um, so that's amazing. I mean, wow, Playboy, movies, and now you just – Obviously, settle down. You got your family. You're living in the Texas area, and yeah. you're just doing some mean greets, and you're still giving back to the fans. You don't need to, but at the same time, why not? Right? It seems fun. Yeah, I love the fans. Are you kidding? They've added a lot of color to my life since I um, rejoined the community. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a blessing, believe me. I bet. I bet. I mean, it's. it's a, oh, hello. That never happens. One second, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, can I help you? What is that? Oh! oh. Hello, Sandy. <laughs> hey there, Michael. <laughs> I thought it would be dumb to take the mask and act like I killed me. So, and back. buddy. <laughs> An old friend of yours. I usually have his mask in the top back there, but uh... <laughs> I found an elbow myself. So don't say Mainers don't know what we're talking about. See that? Stephen King knows what's up. Um, <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> I'm up here. I'm literally like, I'm. You ever been to Maine? You ever been East Coast at all? Uh, I have been to the East Coast. I have not been to Maine yet. You got to come. Old Orchard Beach is great. I'll take you to Stephen King's house in Bangor. Um, yeah, it's got spider webs. He's got bats and dragons on his gate and shit. Oh, it's wild. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you think you'd like it? That'd be a cool little photo op thing. Um, oh, good question from my girl, Heather. What's your craziest fan gift that you've ever gotten? Ooh. Um, good question, girl. Yeah, craziest. Well, let's see. Um, one of my fans, Maggie Mater, made me, it's like a skeleton hand in a, a glass globe thing. And it's got all kind of lights and it lights up and it's got like spider webs. I mean, it's creepy as hell and I love it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at you. You're just a laugh. <laughs> You look at you, you're like, oh, she's a cool chicken. You're like, I love it. I got killed. I love spider webs. What's up? <laughs> um, so um, I know girls don't like to answer this typically when I ask psychic girls or mediums or, or these witch hunters and stuff. But I'm going to ask you. I don't care. And you don't have to answer it. But what is what is what does Sandy like to eat? What's your, your comfort food? Your, oh, we're getting ribs tonight. You know what I mean? Like, what's your go to? Wow. Um, well, I love seafood, so that's right in there. Seafood and Mexican food are my two, um, what I would love to be go-tos. Unfortunately, they will both pack on the pounds, so they're they're pretty much special occasion. <laughs> you come to Maine, I'll hook you up with a nice lobster roll, 10 minutes off the ocean caught, freshest lobster you've ever eaten, right there. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I got you. See that? I see that. Lobster roll's good. No, uh, Sandy. Um, wow, we got like a half hour left. I don't even know what to say. I feel like I'm just geeked out right now. Um, you're the coolest <laughs> chick. You're seriously, like the like the probably the biggest person I've had on here as a guest, and you're probably the one of the coolest. I mean, you're so easy to talk to. Um, so where do you stand on my work? Where do you stand with the paranormal? Because I'm kind of a ghost hunter. I do history too, but I've been to Lizzie Borden's. I've been to um, you know uh, you know murder murder places and and stuff and tried different things. Do you do, you do that stuff at all? You believe in ghoulies and ghosts and goblins? Hang on, I just lost. Uh... Did you I drop me, Sandy? I have not, but I. I have had a supernatural experience. Um, Ooh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, it happened when I was, um, I think I was actually, it was close to graduation from middle school. Okay. And my best friend that I had grown up with in Texas at the time, we were just, you know, so close. And then my mother moved to California, so I had to leave her behind and when oh. I got old enough to um, go see her kind of on my own, because 
her grandmother was in Texas and, and I was, I don't know, 14 or something. And my mom said, as long as her grandmother met me, you know, at the airport, that'd be fine. So yeah. I was so excited to go see her. And about two days before I was supposed to go, I woke up in the night and I started to scream and cry. And my mother came in and she thought I was having a nightmare. And I said, oh, my God, Kathy is dead. I know she's dead. That was my friend's name. And my mother goes, what are you talking about you're asleep, honey. You're having a bad dream. I said, no, no, Kathy's dead. I know she told me. And um, it, it turned out, unfortunately, that my mother called her grandmother and Kathleen, who had married very young in Texas. I don't know what it is now, but at the time you could get married at like 14. No shit. Yeah. And Ew. she had gotten married and her, they called it suicide, but I knew that he had killed her. Oh my God. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it was horrible. But she had definitely reached out to me because she wanted me to know. And uh, I, there was just no other explanation for it. So that, that I knew was. Um, it sounds like you have almost like an intuition, almost like a, an instinct. I mean, it sounds like she reached out to you in that moment for sure. She absolutely did. And uh, it was uh, a sad reach out and I prayed it wasn't true, but unfortunately it was true. That's uh, which it goes. Holy shit. That's pretty wild. That's, I mean, that, that's, I've had friends around me die and not know till they get the call. They're dead. I mean, to, to know that they came to you. Yes. Yeah. I, is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's wow. Give me goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. So I think you might have some sort of intuition, you, some sort of ability even, or just an opening. You seem like you're very open to anything, very spiritual, I think, in life. You seem like you're very take-it-as-it-comes type of girl, type of human, not even a girl, just a soul. <laughs> Seriously, I dig that. You're you're amazing. I'm so cool. It's so cool to talk to you. Cool. I'm going to literally be your biggest. I'm going to promote you all the time now. Um, I appreciate that. You're a sweetheart, and you are, and your family's lucky to have you, and you're lucky to have your family. I'm sure you get a lot of support, you know? I do. Yeah. I, uh, unfortunately my, uh, parents passed away when I was very young, like 19 and 20. Um, and I've lost two of my sisters so far. So I'm rapidly losing family, which is very sad, but uh, I do have two sisters left and I have some lifelong friends and as well as newer friends and of course all my fans. So I'm definitely still blessed. Any little fur babies? Or any little animals, any lizards, or <laughs> yeah, I have a cat. I've always had cats. Uh, if they wouldn't allow them, then I snuck them in. So I was never going to live without a cat. <laughs> yeah, I have. I I had two. They were brother and sister. Unfortunately, Starbuck passed away about uh, two months oh. ago. But I still have his sister. They're uh, Maine Coon cats. Oh, it's meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're um, they're awesome cats. I had rescues for my whole family. We went to a cat show. We were just walking downtown and, and saw one and walked in and we fell in love with the Maine Coon cats. And Oh, they're beautiful animals. Um, yeah, big ones. All, yeah. That's fucking awesome. Oh, I mean, I lost you for a second. So, um, anyway, so now we have latte left. We lost Starbucks, but now we have latte. You like your coffee, I take it? <laughs> Is that a guess? <laughs> I, don't care, I don't care for Starbucks coffee, but I do love coffee. It's a little too I, uh, I like the mermaid. That's cool. Um, so I, I'm, I'm all about your new petition because I would love to have a Sandy Johnson to go with this guy. Yeah, I know. Don't you think Judith should have a pop? I just think she should. She's she's recognized throughout all the Halloweens. Why wouldn't she have one too? And you're going to get commission for that, and then you can go around signing them. If the Kool-Aid guy and the fucking Frito-Lay guy gets a pop, say, <laughs> what, 
<laughs> Rudy Myers can't get a ball? Come on, guys. Come on. Give me a break. Which reminds me, guys, um, this is my signed copy, not by Sandy yet. She, when I meet her, she's going to sign over here. But this is the movie she is in. John Carpenter's 78 Halloween. Um, she's in this one right here. She is the one. Michael! And you look through Michael's eyes and he's got the clown mask. Um, you got that clown mask. You sign that? Do you sell that too? Uh, I do. I have it on my website and I do sign it if, if requested. So, yeah, and I sign a lot of them at shows. A lot of fans bring them to me to sign. I really want to meet you. I just don't know how far I'm going to drive. Kentucky is like fucking 50 hours from me. <laughs> <laughs> but I would so do it. Um, which reminds me, someone actually, I feel like I'm just talking to a friend. I forget there's people in the chat. You guys are perverts just watching us. Um, I got <laughs> Someone wants a question, and I want to ask it to Brody. Happy birthday, 11th-year-old birthday. Big Halloween fan. He wants to know if you keep in contact with any of the original Halloween members that are still around. Great question. Thanks, I'll buddy. see them at a lot of the conventions, and normally our tables are close together, so when we're not crazy busy, we do visit. It and of course go back and do photo ops together we have a chance uh, to visit and depending on where we are sometimes we even get to meet afterwards and have a drink or something oh like a reunion like a little just a little friends meet oh that is so cool that is so cool that is so cool i, I can't even imagine like that is so cool. I mean, you just meet up and it's like, what's going on? How you been? And you shoot the shit. What's new with you? And Yeah, exactly. And what's interesting is that, of course, I was gone for 40 years and many of them, you know, were in touch with each other. And when I did show up, it, they just pulled me right back in. And I thought that was so nice. <laughs> oh, oh, you are the nicest person I think I've ever talked to, which which is actually hard to say because I've talked to Jean. Jean Tewksbury, another strong female in this world. She is um, the curator at the one and only International Cryptozoology Museum, and it's in Maine. She basically, the people that look for Mothman, the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, Yeti, she oh. works with them. She looks for cougars in Maine, big cats, and she's a curator at the only one in the world with Lauren Coleman. He's like the head Bigfoot, he like named the Dover Demon, and he looks for them. You know that stuff, little monsters? That's kind of neat. You guys have the Thunderbirds in Texas, I've heard. These big <laughs> yeah. I'm always open to things that could be possible. I hate to just close the door and say, oh, I don't believe that. I mean, I leave it open for uh, discoveries. I love that. Mermaids, huh? I chase mermaids in Massachusetts. You know what? Until literally, like, how can you prove me wrong? You know, as far as I'm concerned, they're eluding us. And until literally, some, what, what are you, someone going to do? Find not a skeleton and prove me wrong? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, life's fun. Um, you come to New England, seriously, look me up. I'm not a total geek, but I will totally, like, give you the tour. I know a lot of history um, with, with New England, and I'd love to show you around where pirates are. There's witches buried. Cool stuff like that. Um, we got a half hour to go. I want you guys to type in chat, Witch and Life Guide. And after we get a bunch in chat, Sandy's going to pick one lucky person in chat, and Heather's going to mail them out a goodie bag. I'm going to throw in some Pali Santo six, some Nachamba st stuff, and some business cards as well. And Sandy's going to pick that person. So write Witchen, W-I-T-C-H-E-N, Life Guide. Three words. That's my girl, uh, Heather. She's a witch. She's a, she's a Salem. Um, she's one of the elite. <laughs> she's taught me a lot. Where do you stand on holidays and stuff? Do you really <laughs> dig, do you dig Halloween too? Oh, yeah. I love Halloween. My uh, when I was little, my sisters were all very talented with. Halloween rocks. Did you hear that? I lost a little bit. I'm not trying to be rude, but the Wi-Fi does cut in and out. It could be me. It could be you. Uh, Johnny Styles follows you. He's a big Halloween fan. He's a director and stuff. He's a Halloween rocks. Um, but yes, go ahead. Could you please repeat that? I'm sorry. Yeah, my sister, my one of my older sisters was very creative and she loved Halloween. So she always custom made my costume every year. So I never oh. had to wear store-bought costumes. She always made me the most amazing costumes. So that it, those were early memories for me, going with my sisters and having just a very cool costume every year. 
Oh, that's I love that because I mean I kind of grew up. I mean, not that you are, not that that was, but I grew up poor, so it was like we couldn't afford the fifty dollars costumes every year. So my mom would make me a fucking warlock thing. Mm -hmm. And looking back now, I realize how amazing that was. My it hat, my Pennywise hat, got all messed up. Right, I'm going, I can't, I'm going bald, so I can't show you guys. But I mean, but that is cool. Does she do that stuff? Is she like still like a seamstress, or does yeah. she do that stuff? Uh, she was so creative. I mean, she had inventions that she got patented. She was amazing. Unfortunately, she's one of the sisters I lost. Oh, and, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, she was she was just amazing in so many ways. Love her dearly, always. Um, but yeah, she she would make the costumes and my mother, oh. because like you said, we were uh, we didn't have a lot of money. So my mother made all of my Barbie clothes. Now, I'll tell you, that takes talent. Whoa! I didn't have a sewing machine, so they were all hand stitched. What I wouldn't give to have those now, um, but of course, at the time I loved them. But I, I didn't realize until now how truly special they were. But yeah, it was so. My family was awesome. God, you've been through so much. You can literally tell me to go pound dirt or pay you like a thousand dollars. I talked to this guy who's in a band. He's like, a hundred dollars, I'll do it. I go for an hour of me talk to you, really. So I'm like, you know what? I'll talk to Sandy Johnson. She's like, sure. What's going on? I love my fans. I'm like, oh my god, it's fucking Judith Myers, and she's cool. <laughs> and you're you've been through a lot, and that's what I want to touch on. I don't want to make this depressing, but I want to show the world that you're a real person, and and you are, and you're a beautiful person, and you're doing this to give back to the fans. Of course, it doesn't help. Doesn't hurt making a couple bucks, but at the same time. You in front of the grave, you selling the grave, all this cool memorabilia that people can get. It's kind of, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Seriously, that's who thought of that? Was that you? Was that your partner or your friends or? Um, well, of course, you know, people can get it at conventions and stuff and online. But then if they want me to sign it, they either have to go to a convention or pay to mail it to me and then pay to mail it back. So I thought, you know what, if I could get the rights to sell this stuff on my website, then all they have to do is go there yep. and I get, I, you know, can give them a little bit discount and um, ship it for a reasonable price and they don't have all that extra stuff. And if they can't afford or are not near conventions, then they can still get, you know, their stuff for their walls or you know, wherever they want their man cave <laughs> or well, look at a horror room. I got to, you know, think I want a picture of you. I just don't know if I want you with no offense, but like your breast kind of showing, or if I want you in front of the tombstone, I might want both. There's a <laughs> lot of options, but I also love the hat from, from the, you wear. Um, is there any gas pump girls memorabilia? Do you have, do you sign like little gas tanks or anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do have, <laughs> I do have a couple behind the scenes photos from Gas Pump Girls. Really? They are on the, uh, they're somewhere on my website, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, one of them, they're, they're both kind of cool pictures also. I went live last night and I watched the trailer. You can get it on, uh, I forget Google or not Google, but eBay or whatever it was. Not eBay, shoot, I can't think. It doesn't matter. HBO Max. And it showed it, and the guy's like, You're all going to pump my gas. And he puts the thing on the, he, right where his penis is, he gets it all wet on the gas pump. And you girls are walking off, and there's trucks pulling in. And you're like, What do you girls sell? Like gas. He goes, Get out. I go, well, This is fucking awesome. Um, what's Hots about? I couldn't find much on Hots. H period, O period. Um, Hots was, a, it's a sorority, college sorority. There are two different sororities. There's the wealthy snooty girls, which I was one of, and then <laughs> there's the more common, not so attractive, overweight group. And we're at war with each other. Oh. And it's, it's actually a lot of fun too, very much. Those old college movies the, are always fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, just another campy, fun film that they don't allow you to do anymore. <laughs> yeah, like the old school Porkies and, and and like even like Animal House when they're in there drinking beer and there's boobs everywhere. Yeah. You're pretty fierce spirited. You get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like a lot of people are like that's my first crush. I'm like, yeah, no shit. Like, I'm getting her on. I'm like, it's not Laurie Strode. It's Judith Myers. People are like, oh, it's fucking, they, they don't understand, but the real ones do. Um, guys, type in Witch and Life Guide in chat. We need more than two. Come on, type it in. Type it in. We're going to free giveaway. We get some good stuff. So, Sandy, um, someone asked earlier what you do to relax. I think you kind of answered that, just chilling with friends or just at home watching a movie. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing I love to do is travel. 
Ooh, and, okay. uh, yeah, my husband and I like to travel and we especially like cruises. Uh, I've always been a water baby, so I love the ocean and just. Oh. The ocean. You are a mermaid. You do believe because you are one. <laughs> That's cool. Have you been to the tropics like Jamaica and stuff? Uh, we have been to Jamaica and, mm. and of course, Mexico. And um, uh, let's see, I think we went to Puerto Rico. Yeah, we've been uh, quite a few places. And to me, it doesn't even really matter where we go. I just love to cruise. I love the entertainment on the ships. It's amazing. You love and to live. It, yeah, it's just, I mean, we don't get to go very often. So it's kind of a definitely a special occasion. But uh, I love that feeling. It's like, yeah. Get some food, get some snacks, get some clothes, because we're going. We're going, yeah. I don't know where, whichever fucking island we hit first. Oh, what a spirit. <laughs> um, Sienna, we get some more in chat. Go ahead and pick someone that wrote, which, can you see the chat? I don't. Really? Um, I'll bring some on. We got okay. Gene, we got Gene Tewksbury. Okay. We got Haunted Souls. We got Alexis, Aaron. And that's, I guess that's kind of it. So I guess, uh, oh, and then we got uh, Johnny Styles. So I don't know. You pick one. You're not biased. Go ahead and pick one. They're all, they're all winners in my book. Okay, let's do Johnny Styles. Johnny, you get the giveaway. Yes, he wrote Halloween Rocks. Johnny Styles, yes. um, good friend of mine. Yes, he follows a lot of, he, I, honestly, I'm not going to bullshit. I was friends with him like about a month ago, and I saw he was friends with you, and he shared one of your posts, and I said, who the hell is that? Sandy Johnson's got a real page, because I don't know if it's robots half the time. So I clicked on it, but then I saw it was really you. And then you were sharing your other pages shit. So now all my pages follow both your pages. Literally, I follow you like a stalker. <laughs> but Johnny, I owe you this one. So it's kind of fitting. So give, uh, if you want after the show, message me or actually Heather, your address. We'll mail you out a goodie bag uh, on uh, some rocks and gems, and Ali Santo sticks, some of that good stuff. Um, well, yeah. Thank you. Good pick. That's killer. That's our first giveaway. Sandy Johnson. We got about 20 minutes left. Sandy, um, you want to ask me a question? I usually ask my guests, ask me one. Okay. Um, so <laughs> tell me about what you do. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, well, look, real quick. Uh, Alexis Aaron was in post. My last fuck candle. Oh, look, it's on fire. She sent me that. One of my guests. <laughs> um, well, long story short, Sandy, um, and that's not short with me, anybody that knows that. Um, I grew up with my mother. She was a single mother. Long story short, I saw my dad a little bit. But she passed away in 2019. And I got her car. And I got in a car accident with it. I got hit head on. And I died for 38 seconds in 2019. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And um, I lost my mentality because of my mom and being homeless. I didn't have insurance. Even the guy that hit me left. So I was stuck without a car so i was homeless for two years i lived behind a flea market in southern maine that's not funny but um i lived in an rv with no power and um it wasn't that great but whatever so then i met my girlfriend kind of lived with her for a little bit but now i got my own home and um i'm a, known as adam the historian ghost hunter and i work with the war and legacy foundation i kind of left them recently but i do my own thing with history and i go like to to places that aren't known, like I went to like the oldest known fruit tree in America. It was plant, planted by a pilgrim in 1655, the Etticott pear tree. It still bears fruit. It's wow. from yes. And I went there in Danvers, Massachusetts, which was Salem's village. So people hear this, they go, holy shit. They think I'm a god. So, <laughs> so I made a page and I do historically haunted vodcasts since two years now. And now I get 10 bucks a week from sponsors, which in life guide give me. So I'm doing that. I'm writing my first book. About my life, about dying and seeing ghosts. I saw my grandfather when I was nine. So uh, when he died, his ghost walked me to the fridge. And so I've been through a lot of stuff. Um, so I do that. Long story short, I'm kind of a historian ghost hunter. And I live alone. I'm 43. My girl's three hours from me. I got no kids. I ain't married. And I'm just doing my own thing. And I write every day. I go to Bangor. Uh, Derry, Maine, where Stephen King lives, and I go to the movie sites from Pet Cemetery, and, uh, and I'm trying to do a documentary now. I'm trying to do something on Stephen King's life. Have you ever been to Bangor? I don't know. You've never been to Maine, but Bangor's got um, FBI's most wanted. Al Brady got killed there in 1938. He's uh, Hannibal Hamlin, America's first Republican vice president, underneath Abraham Lincoln. He died in Bangor. He's buried there. His couch he died on on display at the at the thing. There's movie sites from Creep Show. So I love where I live. I love Maine and I'm kind of doing a living off that. So long story short, I'm Adam Historian Ghost Hunter. 
and uh, Historically Haunted Podcast, my bread and butter, and I get to talk to Sandy fucking Johnson. It's not her real middle name, <laughs> but I mean, this is legit. Like, dude, like I watched you when you're sitting there, and you're like, she's like, Michael, <laughs> genius. And I remember as a kid going, he killed his sister. I mean, and then it goes, well, the, uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis is not fucking Judith Myers, guys. It's not even the same. Ugh. No, this is different. You are her first kill. You were his first. He had a cigarette after he killed you, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's my story. It's kind of plain, but at the same time, people are starting to pick up on it. I think this show might get me some credibility. Having you on was a big plus. You really gifted me this. Um so um, I'm I'm forever in debt, and I will share your stuff as it comes. I would invite I've invited people to like your page, and I will literally be your lap dog now. For so, <laughs> I appreciate you, Sandy. Well, I, I got so a joint. I got medical marijuana here in Maine. I got a card, so it's okay. <laughs> well, um, I see that you are uh, not living in a vehicle anymore, and that you are doing something with your life, and things are turning around. That's awesome. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. I gave up hope. My family gave up on me for the most part. My just life, you know, how life can be. And then Corona hit and then I'm in an RV. So you can't even go shower at a hotel because hotels are closed. Right. So, uh, it was rough. Uh, suicide thoughts, all that good. stuff. So anyway, um, but I'm here, I'm back and I'm talking to Sandy Johnson and I own my house. I live in Southern Maine or Northern Maine in a little shithole town, but you know what? It's all that matters. Cause I'm talking to Sandy Johnson and I literally have been grinning ear to ear for a, what a week. Um, you literally made my, I think my year, maybe my, my life. <laughs> so I appreciate you, Sandy, more than you know, I think. Thank you. Um, 20 minutes left. Let's plug some stuff. I want to get you some stuff. Where can people go to find Sandy Johnson merch, autographs, that good stuff? Okay. A website is unicornsandyj.com. And uh, if they want to follow me on Facebook... It is the real Sandy Johnson. So Facebook slash the real Sandy Johnson. Instagram is Unicorn Sandy J. And I don't have Unicorn in there because I love Unicorn. When my current agent. You guys make sure you check all that out. Did it, did it stop after? Um, you said your current agent. Okay, my current agent. Uh, he had looked for me for about eight years. And wow. when he finally found me, he called me his unicorn, his mythical, magical creature that he thought he would never find. <laughs> wow. So I thought that was so cool that I made it my, uh, I made it part of my uh persona so to speak so it most of the things have unicorn in there somewhere <laughs> that's amazing even johnny says super cool you have literally got to be one of the best spirited guests adam's the best great guest and so much energy we love him well i appreciate you haunted souls very cool uh, brody, uh i'm friends with liz and her son brody and he says he tells his neighbors were famous that's me um no uh, that's cool uh, sandy's sandy's oh man you really have opened up my eyes towards what someone in the field should be not field but in the you know what i mean in hollywood so to speak like you really if you can be cool with me fucking anybody can be cool with me right why can't anybody you're pretty cool you're really humble um you're an amazing guest i can't kiss your ass more than <laughs> honestly it's uh it's a pleasure to have you on here i'm literally tickled pink i don't even know what to say anymore um Thank i want to do some more personal stuff uh what Thank it's you. what's what yeah you're welcome what's what is what's what is sandy's bucket list uh, give me an America and give me overseas. Uh, bucket list overseas. I hope to go to Ireland someday because my dad, yes. uh, he's in the war, and he always said that in his travels, Ireland was the most beautiful place on earth. So I'm hoping to see it someday. The castles by sunset. Oh. Yes. Of course, I'm going to Germany. So that's pretty close. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of the same things with castles and beautiful country and so I'm very excited about that and then last year um or year before last I guess I went to a convention in in UK which was also amazing so Ooh. just to travel and see new things and meet new people from different places um the people in 
UK, we're fabulous. We have a wonderful time. So I, I just, I'm. That's cool. Um, That's cool. I guess in the U.S. But, um, I'd like to take a train trip sometime. I'm like really cool ones that go just the, tra you know, the travel related ones, not just get here to there. I we didn't have a lot of money, so we traveled by Greyhound and trains and stuff when I was little. And so, oh, retro, yeah. yeah, so I can even remember staying in the stations and stuff because we didn't, you know. Oh, okay. that's cool. We just like to. <laughs> but just that going through uh, the country in a train, I think, would be awesome. Sandy, I'm going to get you to come to New England again because in New Hampshire, right next to Maine, you must have heard of New Hampshire. It's one of like the first government states. There's a, in North Conway, they do uh, foliage rides during the fall. And there's a trestle called Frankenstein's Trestle. And it's a big cliff called Frankenstein's Cliff. And it's like, I don't know, a hundred bucks. And you go in this old carriage and they serve you tea and triscuits and shit. Old school stuff. And you go for like two hours in the woods. You come to New Hampshire, I'll bring you. Let's go. I'll bring you and your whole family. I got connections up here. I kind of run New England, at least Maine, New Hampshire. So that would be cool. It's an old locomotive with coal, too. You smell it burning. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You'd like that Frankenstein's trestle. Oh, man. You literally look just like you did in the movie. You, do you, are you a vampire? <laughs> no, not that I know of. <laughs> oh, my God. You sound and look and just everything like the movie. Oh, my God. I'm almost blushing. <laughs> anyway, so um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, so so that's cool. I like that overseas stuff. Everybody says Ireland. I think people love the mystique of the castles, you know, all that stuff. Ireland's really green, but it's got all the beautiful seas. Um, well, she looks more alive. Well, she looks more alive. Yes, that's true. Yes, well, she's yes, yeah, technically Jesus at this point. She came. She's back from the dead. Judith Myers, my guest. Um, that's funny. So, all right, ten minutes to go. I can finish this off. I can be a pro. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you start your tours. I mean, you're backed up until pretty much next year, 2024, kind of ish. Yeah, um, a lot of times they're mostly summer through fall. That's when I get booked a lot, of course, because of Halloween. So I'm always grateful for that. I also have um, some movies that we're working on. So I've got, I, I've done, during COVID, I did some uh, movie cameos, one for a Hungarian film, and uh, another one that was a U.S. film. They're not released yet. They're in post-production. So they're... Oh. Keep your eye out for that. That'll be coming out soon. I've, on my website, I have lists of the cons as I can announce them and also my films. And you'll see there's a pretty big list. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Some of those are just really wonderful uh, wonderful roles that I'm excited to uh, develop. So yeah, very cool. I'm I'm blessed. Like I said, I truly am. Oh man, oh man. All right, yeah. Oh man, I'm so like you have been like the model guest, like the perfect guest. Like you have been amazing. Not even a guest. You've been like I was. Can I call you my friend? <laughs> Are we friends, Sandy Johnson? Oh, that's sweet. I'm blushing. Um, thank you, Heather, my girl. Heather, uh, five years, Heather Witch, and you know I love you, Heather. I'm teasing with Sandy. Uh, but yes, Unicorn and Sandy, down there, guys. There's the link. Check it out. It's not hard to find it. Um, and check it out. And she will personalize it. Like she said, pretty much there's a plethora of things from pictures to art to masks to, to tombstones. <laughs> and you can find out what she's going on, and which is really cool. Um uh haunted souls paranormal wants to know how you got into playboy yeah that, did you did you just go fuck it throw your name in the hat or <laughs> uh no it was kind of for a sad reason my dad was a very sick with cancer and he wanted to try a treatment that they had in mexico and it was expensive no kidding so i was just like working at fast food i was in high school and someone said to me 
you know, you should try Playboy because they, they pay well. And so I did, I applied to them and they um, did a test shoot and decided that they were going to put me in the June 1974 issue. So I did it. That was the main reason. Of course, I always loved modeling and stuff. So it was fine, but it wasn't something I really sought out uh, on my own. I just, uh, it was needed. Yeah, it makes sense, which, which is ironic. Your birthday is in July. You're a month away from being in your birthday month. Um, <laughs> I did a little bit of stalking. I know about you. That's why I knew about uh, your stuff, because you're more than just a pretty face. You're more than an actress. You're a human. And you have a lot, like a PhD should be talking about, because that's a big thing you didn't just get in this on your bullshit you got a phd i don't care how small you think that is that's impressive sandy so you have a great background and you're still living life to the fullest and i love your attitude um i gotta get that play so i can get that signed and i want to get some of your movies and stuff for sure um so guys you gotta check her out she's all over the place she's definitely a cool chick i'm blushing again um <laughs> so did you get to meet hugh i did i met him several times at the mansion uh, both wow. and Holmby Hills and uh, wonderful parties. It was nice to be on the automatic guest list. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be like the movies, just drinks and caviar and food and just whatever music you want and just... to eat. <laughs> you met Hugh Hefner. I did. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to meet you and hug you, Sandy. You're like the coolest person ever. You literally could tell me to go pound sand and you came on my show and you're like, you're awesome. Huts, uh, Huts sounds hilarious. Yes, it is. Heather, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get every movie she's in now. I got that's my mission. I spent three years trying to find the original copy of Sleepy Hollow by uh, Washington Irvin. I paid 380 bucks for it, but I got it <laughs> 1820 copy. So I'm gonna find your stuff and I'm gonna meet you one day. That's my goal. I met Rob Zombie, I've met people. I'll meet you. Cool. Um, well, I do a lot of shows and they they bring me to different areas, so it's it may still happen this year. The well, closest um, sounds like Florida, though, to me. Well, I, I haven't announced them all yet, though, and they're still booking for the year. Their booking's not finished yet. A lot of the shows don't book until it's closer, so they don't have to cancel if something comes up. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's only fuck. It's only March. It's not even close to Halloween time. Right. But if I'm gonna get in my car and eat pup tarts for a week and go drive to Texas, Texas to meet you, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I, I, I drove to Iowa just to go see the uh, the the uh, gravesite of the drummer of Slipknot. I drove all the way to Iowa because <laughs> I don't care. It's life short, like you say. I love to travel because it's not so much getting there; it's the journey there. It's the things you see on the way, right? Absolutely. Oh, my God. Um, five minutes left to go, Sandy. Is there anything I've left out? Um, hmm. No, I don't think so. Um, just I, I want the fans to know that I love them. And I'm so grateful that they follow me and they interact with me. And, and I know what their children and their fur babies look like. And <laughs> And you know about me, you know, my mom Prayer, died now, you know, I, you know about um, me. Positive I mean, energy. Uh, we so, feel that. Yeah, I just like them to, um, I just like them to know that. God, you are literally what every actor and actress should be in Hollywood. Because without the fans buying the tickets, buying the merch, who are you? Who are we, right? You got to have them. Right. These people that I've met some people that are just quite honestly pieces of crap. <laughs> I met some, you know, just certain people. I'm like, oh, like really? So, um, yeah, like I said, I met Rob Zombie who did Halloween remake. He's amazing. Rob Zombie was great. What do you stand on the remakes? Well, we got a couple minutes. What do you stand on the Halloween remakes? Have you seen those? I have not seen Rob Zombies. Really? Just for one reason, I don't like a lot of gore. I like. Okay. I like psychological thrillers and psychological horror. I'm more into the head stuff, not so much the blood. <laughs> Hence the PhD. We're not stupid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, where do you stand on my my homie, my boy, my main man? Um, here we go, Stephen King. Ooh. Anyway, yeah. You like it. you like his, his movies aren't horror. I mean, even Pet Cemetery is kind of a psychological. It builds on you, right? Right. You like yeah. that? Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I like um, 
I love Scream. I love The Shining. Um, I love things that have a big twist in them somewhere where it's not what you're expecting. You don't just sit there smoking a bong going, ha ha, I ripped her face off. Ha ha, pass the pizza. Like, that's okay too, but it's so dumb. I want to think a little bit and go, oh my God, I think it's the cousin that killed her. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of fun. So, oh man. All right. So we're wrapping it up here. Shit. I wish I could talk to you for like three hours, but then I'd be considered a stalker. Um, was that me or you? That was you. You're yeah. A busy girl. I took up an hour of your time, Sandy Johnson. Um, I can't thank you enough. Dude, you're like awesome. You're very welcome. I'm happy I could join you and meet you and talk with your friends. Chicken your hand. <laughs> um, I, I got to meet you and I'm going to, you know, obviously get an autograph online, but I got to meet you in person. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for me letting me bug you and tag you in 500 things. I couldn't be more proud to have you as my guest. Thank you, Witch and Life Guy, for sponsoring. Um, Shit, I don't know if I got anything. Uh, Johnny Styles, congratulations on your winnings. Love your love your picks from the Mike Myers house. Oh yes, that was killer, dude. You're living every 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 you know horror movie fans' dream. You're the dream girl. You're just it, <laughs> and uh, your time is valuable. And you let me have an hour and one minute of it, and I couldn't say that I'm more happy. So this will be on my YouTube channel tomorrow, the hard copy. I'm probably going to tag you in it some more. Hopefully you don't block me on Facebook. I'll still be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I won't bug you too much, but every once in a while, maybe I'll just mention you say hi. Hope you're doing well. Um, Thank you. I really appreciate you growing up with you in life. I was Myers for Halloween, and I always thought to myself, I can't kill my sister. I had a sister, Sarah. And I thought I would kill you. Just little things like that. It's psychological. And, and I didn't know about your other movies, and now I'm more of a fan than ever. And uh, fuck, I wish I could hug you. You're awesome. <laughs> no, seriously, you, you smile through the camera, and you look like the chick from the gas pump girls. Do I just stick it in the gas pump? Yeah, you pump it. And you're just like, Bruh. I'm like, come on. She really needs to be taught how to pump gas, but it's awesome. And I love how you just stay true to yourself. So, um, yeah, anyway, Sandy Johnson, thank you from the bottom of my heart, from all my listeners, historically on the vodcast. You're amazing. You're very Thank you. welcome. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it, and I hope to meet you someday. Oh, it's recorded. I'm <laughs> <old>. <laughs> um, so anyway, so yes, thank you guys. This will be up tomorrow on the YouTube channel, Historically Haunted. Oh, look at that. Yes, thank you, Sandy. We love you. A lot of people, a lot of people are working. They're going to watch it after on East Coast. It's 5 o'clock, so the main are they're getting out. So you folks blew it. But uh, um, we'll catch you guys Friday and every week after. And uh, maybe we'll get Sandy on in the future to talk about our Paracons and see what's going on in a couple months. So thanks, Sandy. And Thank thanks, you. everyone. Um, I really appreciate it.